Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Digital Creations and today we are going to learn how to create a typewriter effect right inside of Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Before watching this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel Digital Creations and hit that bell icon and select all options so you will get notifications when I release a new video content. So let's get started. Now guys, let's get started how to create a typewriter effect inside of Premiere Pro. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new sequence. So go to file new and select sequence. And here is a short keys command N. Under the sequence preset, I'm going to select the digital SLR. And here you can change the settings and time base to 23.97 and uh, write the name of the sequence. Typewriter effect and hit OK to create a sequence. And after this, I'm, I selected Graphics Workspace and under the tool panel here, you will find this type tool. Select this type tool and start typing. I'm going to type uh, typewriter. Effect Premiere Pro. Okay, now guys, go to Essential Graphics Panel and here I'm going to align this tax in the center of the program monitor. And here uh, there are lots of options. You can change the font of the tax. You can change the appearance. So let's animate this tax. So here I just go to Effects and here I'm going to search the Linear Vibe Video Effect. Uh, here you will find this in another uh, video facts go to transition and linear wipe uh, video fact and uh, just drag and drop this video fact to onto our layer text layer and uh, i'm just going to select this text layer and uh, go to effects control and here you will find this linear by video effect and uh, under the transition completion option here you will see this uh, transition completion so i'm going to increase the transition completion uh, which is 100 percent and add a keyframe at this point let's move this set this and uh, make a two seconds animation so i'm going to uh, set the value to zero here you will see this Okay, now here you will see that this wipe uh, angle and this text reveal and slide from right side. So here in the wipe angle, I'm just going to select the wipe angle to minus 90 degree. And uh, let's play this animation. It is started from the left side. Now guys, after this, I'm going to create a cursor. So here go to tool panel and I'm going to select the rectangle tool and draw a vertical line to create a cursor, blinking cursor effect. So here you can see this, I'm just going to maximize this and uh, just go to shape layer and here I'm just going to rename this shape layer to cursor and uh, just select the scale and uncheck this uniform scale so i'm going to decrease the width and height of this cursor and just move this position downside and uh, make it all right guys this is this is perfect uh, cursor so okay now set it fit to back and uh, now guys let's move this cursor set the position of this uh, cursor so here i'm just going to set the position keyframe here at this position and end at the this position when the text is end all the way back okay now guys let's uh, set this uh, position of this cursor I'm going to reduce the 
typewriter time second time frame so here i'm just going to reduce the time to make it closer and now let's play this okay now guys let's create a uh, blinking effect so select uh, the cursor and here just i'm going to set the opacity of the cursor initially to zero and uh, let's move the keyframe to here in this point four four frames one two three four and uh, i'm just going to create a hundred percent one two three four and reduce the value and select all keyframe copy this keyframe and paste it select all keyframe and copy this copy this and paste at this point paste it to create a blinking effect and uh, paste it here move my playhead and paste it here and now guys let's play this i'm going to render this effect let's play in a full screen again i'm just going to set uh, the opacity make to blinking uh, this cursor to continue this blinking so paste this keyframe here select all copy and move your playhead and the end and paste it to make a blinking effect with the help of opacity now guys look at this now guys after this let's add some typewriter sound effects so here i'm just going to drag and drop this sound effect let's play this okay here you will see this rubber band i'm going to increase the sound okay let's adjust this sound so here i'm at this point i'm just going to start and uh, stop it here so i'm just going to cut this sound and delete this track and uh, here let's play this let's move my playhead here and stop it let's add the go to effects and select exponential fade option okay let's play this sound okay now guys let's play in a full screen Now guys, this is super easy to create a typewriter effect right inside our Premiere Pro CC 2020. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel. Thanks for watching Digital Creations.